Guys, I think I know where Supercell got the Yeti from. Yes. Yo, yeah, what's up you guys? It's Gossip Dudes and welcome back bros to Clash of Clans. Today, we're trying something new. We have a new troop in the game, guys, and this is unheard of. We've had the Bowler and the Electric Dragon, it seems like, forever. And finally, we get another troop, and this guy is a Funneler. We get to funnel with this dude, and um, it makes me wonder, how strong is he? Can we put this guy to the test and see what weapons are good against him and which weapons are weak against him? You know, I think I had some of my uh, friends in the clan ask me this question. We need to do more videos about the new troop and uh, the, some of the weapons to see what are weaks, weaknesses and strengths before the game is released. So, guys, I have that. We have the Yeti, and we're going to put him up against every weapon in the game to see which ones are good against him and weak against him. And I thought this would be a great video so that uh, so advanced players will know where to put him and where not to put this guy. So, bros, um, I might actually have to do a lot of Yetis, but I do want to max this guy out. So let's go ahead and go to the laboratory, and we're going to max this Yeti because it's only fun once you max the guy, right? Uh, where's he at? Shoot, bros. Good thing I have some hammers. We'll max this guy to level three. And I think that's it, right? Yep, he's maxed. Okay, so we have a max level three. There he is. He's looking so nice. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put this guy up against the weapons. But first, before we do that, let's go ahead and get a bunch of yetis so that we can use in our attack. Okay, so we have them there. Let's go ahead and see if we can attack with a bunch of yetis. Let's do one at a time, though. Okay, so guys, here we go. We've got all the weapons ready. I'm going to put in one yeti to see um, what the damage is and see how far this guy could go. So let's try it out. How many weapons can you take, bro? So the archer did about... That's like 10%. Bomb tower. Ooh, ouch. Boy, that's... Um, Dudes, that scatter shot does damage. Let's see that again. Hold on. Oh, he's going for the. Okay, he's going for the air sweeper. Whoopsie me. So the Tesla doesn't do much. Air sweeper does nothing. Let's see what's next weapon. That was the Tesla actually did not too bad. That was like fifteen percent damage. Infernal tower. does okay damage it's to be expected but you guys saw that the yeti mites can actually get through those inferno towers and this is no good wizard tower can you do it oh the wizard tower does nothing guys that's a max wizard tower okay so he's dead there. Ooh, gosh, those Yeti mites, bros. Okay, let's try this again. I want to see the uh, scatter shot. That was some good damage that it did. Let's check this out. Here we go. Ooh, that's like uh, 10%. 20%. Maybe 25% that it just did. So it does like 15% damage. Scatter shots are good against Yetis. And air defenses don't work. Let's see what the cannon can do. Here we go. Oh, uh, the cannons are whatever. They do damage, but uh, not too much. And last, we're going to do the Grand Warden. The Grand Warden does something. You guys, the Yetis are actually pretty good. Uh, last one is the expo let's see how it does bros these yetis can take some damage here but 
I mean, I'm kind of expecting that. Gosh, actually, no, the Expo does pretty pretty decent damage. Uh, I'm expecting that because um, the Yetis cost, I think it's like 18 army camp space to get in. All right, and now the Eagle Artillery. Does it do any kind of damage? We won't find out. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right. So we just saw that. Um, let's go ahead and start it up again. But this time, guys, I have a row of weapons that we're going to try our attacks against. We're going to see how many weapons a Yeti can get through. All right. So I have them all lined up here. That's about. That's just about every weapon. We just don't have the Eagle Artillery. So let's do it. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Dude, that's pretty good. Wow, it got through one weapon. Okay, so it makes a difference when you have other weapons targeting you. So, we're gonna start, we're gonna do now two Yetis to see how far they can get. How many Yetis does it take to clear all the weapon? Okay, guys, here we are. We're going to do two Yetis now to see how many it takes to get all the weapons in the game. Roar. There's two Yetis, and they're both dying because the scatter shot's so good. All right, so we, we did four weapons. Four weapons. Wow, okay. Two Yetis actually got five weapons. One, two, three, four, five. And there's a Tesla there. All right, so two Yetis took out five weapons, bros. Um, three Yetis it is. Let's go. Here we go. Three Yetis coming up. How far can they get? Wow, that scatter shot, bros. Scatter shot so good. My Yetis are almost dead. There's another one. All right, one's down. Another one's biting the dust. Oh, okay. So we still have about uh, four, five, six weapons left over. That's pretty good for only three Yetis. Try it one more time. I'm thinking, guys, four Yetis, maximum, maximum five. We'll take all these weapons. Here is the four Yetis. I'm sure they could do it. All right. Yeti mites really do um, really do some work here. Okay, they're about to go. That's it, guys. After the Inferno Tower, it's all easy breezy. Oh, shoot. Two Yetis left. This is it. Oh no. One's gonna go down. Oh guys. Okay. If we if we do five, it's gonna be an overkill. I'm sure. But uh you know what? To make it fair, I think we'll put the scatter shot a little further behind. Okay, guys, this is it. We have five Yetis coming into the game, and I think this is gonna be overkill. You know, I'm actually quite sure that if we have the Yetis or the uh, Scattershot a little further back, it might do some damage. I think that's what we'll do. Check this out. Five Yetis is going to take all these weapons, but what happens if we switch the positions of the Scattershot? There we go. There's two Yetis left, and they actually have more health. Uh-oh, here we go. That's it. It's just a Grand Warden. Here we go, guys. Oh, my gosh. The Grand Warden actually held his own. So, it takes more than five Yetis. I think six is... is I was wrong, guys. Okay, well, this is it. Guys, we have six Yetis coming into play. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna start back here to give the weapons a little bit of a chance because I know this is gonna be overkill. They've already got one Yeti down. One's down. These new weapon levels are so good. Oh, okay, another's down, four left. Can these weapons hold them? They're going. Oh gosh, yeah, this is gonna be overkill. Oh shoot. This is it. Grab warded. Oh, he's just got too much power. Very cool. So they were able to do it with six Yetis, but that is a lot of army camp space. Shoot, I don't even know what that is. Uh, six times, six times 18. That's about 108 army camp space, guys. So it takes that to get all the weapons. But some of these weapons have more than one, so it's gonna be tough. But uh, nonetheless, guys, that's interesting. And now you know what's weak against and what's strong against the Yeti. So, uh, bros, Check me out next episode. I'm also going to be doing soon the scatter shot to see if they work against bats. I think that's going to be a new one. Guys, stay tuned for that and hope to see you on the next episode. Godson out.